Hello, my name is Doug Tembrock from QMS, Quality Management Solutions. Uh, what we're going to uh, review in this video is the new eQMS r and &R, the web-based results recording that has been developed by QMS, and then the existing QE51N results recording work list to see the difference between the two. Um, QE51N has been a workhorse for many years and done a great job, um, but we have over the years heard that the benches would like to have it more geared towards the way they work, which is uh, working on uh, a handful of different tests, but many inspection lots. So they, rather than um, having to go in and out of inspection lots, they can have them all sitting up on the screen and record the results for a like, given test all the way down the screen if they got 20, 30 of them on the screen. Here's an example. Let me run the current QE51N, which still in, in many cases will do the job when you don't have the situation where you have the benches uh, set up in a way that, that they're, they're doing one specific or two or three specific type tests. And if I run this for from the beginning of the year to now, this is the existing QE51, and I'm running it for this plant. And what it just did is it brought up three inspection lots. Two of them have two operations in them. And one of them has one operation, but it has had many inspection points. Five different inspection points were done. So five different times, whether it was hourly or, or whatever, it was determined why it had five pulls. It had five different pulls. In this case, just one set for this inspection lot and one for the next one. And then if I look at the inspection lot here, this first operation water inspection, it has things like sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and so on. And then it has Carl Fisher here that has gross, tear, and net. And so if looking here, if I, at my bench, I have, I always do sodium, potassium, magnesium. That's all I do. I really don't need to see the rest. Plus, I'm always working on multiple inspection lots. I'm not just working on one at a time here. I'm usually taking, um equipment that allows me to enter several samples could be 10, 20, 30 samples uh, different inspection lots at one time I'm putting in and when they, the tests get done and come back out I'm ready to record for that single type of test all 20 results, the 20 different inspection lots. We're here using QE51N I can go in and record the result but it's just for this inspection line, I end up having to save, back out, after save, then open up my next inspection lot, click on, and then do my results for those couple, and save and back out. And I'm doing that now 20 times because i got 20 inspection lots. So taking these same three test results, or inspection lots, if I back out, and run the new um, EQMS RR results recording. Uh, double click on this. It's now is web based. See the different icon there. It runs on the web, so it's triggering or firing up the web. And I'm gone in a second time into the screen, but initially I had to enter my password so you will have to enter your password your uh, password for the client that this is set up on and then the plant in this case the way it's set up see it's two red uh, asterisks we have set up in the configuration that two of the fields are required analytic is required as well or excuse me <laughs> work center and I'm entering analytic and then we have date here, a date range. I'm going to clear that by hitting the X here. So I'm just going to do to this date range. And then we can either see results recording or the samples that go along with it for doing sample management. But I'm going to do results recording. 
That can enter any of these other fields as well. And when I get a, um, looking at the screen, I can kind of look back at my search criteria to see how did that come up. And then I can close it by hitting this collapse tray up here. So now I'm seeing another results recording screen, but this time it is more set up towards the bench. You see this chemistry station one, there's actually three types of tests that are done there. Chemistry station two, there's five. If I hit that, there's actually five different tests that are done there. That's what these little um, numbers are. So if I go back to chemistry, and I had the scenario where I had 20 inspection lots here, or 30 or 40, whatever, however many you would have, and I'm doing a whole tray of calcium testing, I can do unlock all when the tray comes back out, line up the inspection lot, and this, where these fields are is, is customizable. And now at this point I can enter my results and just start going right down the screen here. And then when I'm all done, I'm going to lock all and then save. And then So now, as you can see, I'm much more set up towards a lab bench. The work is deciding what test should go into what categories. So that's there's a configuration table that when you look at all your different tests for the labs, the ones that are done out in the lab, you can come up with names. These tabs are all configurable what the names are and then what tests go into that name so you're actually saying there's five in this case even though I am I'm showing three different tests that are done inside the chemistry station here and so if there happens to be more tied to that they would show up but I only have three related to those inspection lots so now Again, it's, uh, the work is kind of like the pre-planning and setting up ahead of time, but after that, it's just running this um, results recording screen for your work center, and then within your work center, breaking it down by bench. And then if I'm in uh, Visual Results 4, then I go into that. And this particular one is showing the test results for the in that there's four tests that need to be done and they're done for though that first inspection line that I had the five inspection points. So I'm able to see that this one's for inspection point one, two, three, four, five. Then when we get our sample label, we would want to have it to where it's this inspection lot plus this inspection point. So you know which one you're recording it against. And that is QMS on R and R results recording EQMS R and R. The next video I'm going to show video I'm going to show is the configuration that we've developed. So it's a new configuration that links to the results with this results recording screen. Thank you.